Hi everyone, welcome back to Artist Archives. My name is Nikki and today we're going to do my February wrap up. I just want to reflect on each month and we're a few days into, we're one week into March now. So yeah, it's time, it's time, it's time. Are we ready? Let's go. So what I say, because I think, what I think would be really good to do is if you do this along with me and I will have to you know, credit where credit is due. There is a YouTuber by the name of Lavender. If you haven't watched her video, she does sort of like, um, how would I put it? Like mental, not even mental health, like well-being, wellness kind of videos. Um, they're quite spiritual. Um, I don't watch them anymore, but she used to do this. I think she still does it, this monthly wrap up series. And you could journal along with her. And I used to really, really enjoy that. So yeah. Yeah, so I'm doing some, I'm doing some and you're very welcome to journal along with me. Um, so the first thing that we're going to reflect on is what was your word of the month? If there was one word with which you could describe February, what would that be? Take a little moment to write it down. My word, which, oh, God is so good. I'm so grateful to report this. My word was accomplished, accomplishment. I felt so accomplished in the month of February. I felt so happy and at ease and on the right path, which is so exciting. I just felt like I got I got so much confirmation from God and so many things aligning and I'm so happy about that. And if you watched my January wrap up, the word was like not a good word. So yeah, this was amazing. The next thing is what are you grateful for in the month of February? <laughs> um, I had lots of things I was grateful for. Again, I'm not gonna share every single thing, but there were lots of different things. So I went on my first ever writing retreat. There is a vlog coming up about that and it was so enjoyable and so many great things happened during that writing retreat that are also on my list of gratitude. So I had a really good time. I'm so grateful for my finances because I hit my financial goals this month and that was something that was so exciting because I also like I wasn't focused on money in February and I feel like you have to take the Bible at its word you know because Jesus says seek first the kingdom and all of these things which is to do with like provision and financial finances and all these things will be added to you and that definitely happened like I feel like I was seeking first the kingdom and like everything else just fell into place when I wasn't even focused on finances. Whereas in the past where when you're like, oh, I have to make this, I have to make this, sometimes it just doesn't happen. But when you're focused on God, all these things are added to you. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful for all the freelance work that I had in the month of February. Um, I'm also grateful for writing progress. I made lots of progress in my writing. You'll see more of that later on in the writing treat video. Um, I'm really grateful for I got to go and visit my partner who lives in Newcastle and there's a life update around that as well but we'll discuss that later but we went to his church and it's like the same branch as my church but like just in a different location and the p message that the pastor was speaking was everything God had been talking to me about I'm really grateful for that because it really clarified a lot of things for me um, yeah I know I'm being a bit cryptic but we'll talk more about these things in upcoming videos um I'm really grateful because I had a really amazing career moment in which somebody who whose acting classes I used to attend way back in the day I used to be that young person who was totally naive and now we're working like as uh, like colleagues peers in fact I'm welcoming you into this space so it was just it was really amazing and it was so lovely to see her and she's so supportive and it was great um I'm grateful that I had my finance meeting with my wonderful friend and I'm also glad that I saved money in the month of February what a joy the next questions we're going to ask ourselves is when did we feel the happiest and when did we feel the unhappiest so for me I put when I felt my happiest was when I was chasing my goals and when I felt the unhappiest I had a few but I feel like there were moments where I felt quite flustered um, and also quite disobedient in my faith and that, that made me really really unhappy. Um, I made a note of per personal care this month and I think that's like a really cool category to have so I kind of switch up the categories every now and then it's flexible with finding the best thing that works for me and something that I've really enjoyed is um, just 
facial scrubs, a bit of skincare, and also having a shower before I go to bed. Because let's normalize pre-bed showers. I think we normalize like early in the morning showers, but pre-bed showers are the best showers. I'm just saying, it's just the best feeling when you just step out of a nice hot shower, and then you get into the fresh sheets and you're all clean and all cozy. Oh, love it. Next thing you're gonna ask yourself is what worked in the month? What did you do that was a win? So I think once you acknowledge it, you know that you can keep on doing it instead of doing something and then letting it fall off. So what worked for me was I put showers before bed, okay? It just made me very happy. I put praying before bed. I'm doing um, Lent at the moment. And for Lent, I decided to pray every morning and pray every night before bed. So the first thing in the morning or the last thing. And that is definitely working for me. I, I didn't tend to read my Bible before bed. So this is kind of new for me. And I'm really enjoying closing out the day, just refocusing and refocusing and recentering on God. So that's been really great. Um, tracking finances also worked. Um, and then the next thing is what needs to change. So in the same vein, like don't just keep up a bad habit. What do you need to change? I feel like I've had this for ages, like if I think about it, but I need to start sleeping earlier. Um, I need to be on social media less, which I am doing right now, actually, which is good. Um, and then a couple of things that are a bit more private, so I won't say this for now. <laughs> um, couple more categories. This one is what progress did you make towards your goals? I did a Marie Forleo business bootcamp, which was amazing. If you don't know Marie Forleo, she is an incredible entrepreneur and artist and uh, writer, speaker. But anyway, she's got a YouTube channel, check her out. Um, yeah, she did a business bootcamp, it was online, it was three days and it was free. And it was really helpful actually and very clarifying. So, so grateful to God for that, it was amazing. Um, and then I edited nine chapters of my memoir, which I'm really happy about and made loads of other progress in other areas that for now I'm going to keep private. Then the last thing, although suddenly a really good question came to mind, which we're just going to thank the Holy Spirit for, which is what do you think God is speaking to you about for next month? That's a really good one to think about. Like, what do you think? Where is God leading you for the next month? Because you've got to be looking forward as well, right? So that's one that came to mind. Um, this question is, how did you challenge yourself this month if you did? Uh, if you didn't challenge yourself, that's kind of like cool as well. Like, I don't know what your circumstance is, but how I challenged myself, I put two things and they're both to do with dance. So I went to an incredibly difficult dance class that is like complete, like, such advanced level and I struggled so much but the parts I kind of kept up with and it was a good test of my perseverance I'll say that that was a hard class man so I challenged myself there and I also I got up to dance with my friend even though I felt really nervous I said I'm gonna come up and dance with you tomorrow and we did that and we did the dance performance together and that was really um good so I might insert a little clip of it here <laughs> and last but not least what art did i consume in the month of february so in the month of february i watched two movies I read one book and I watched one series. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. So let's start with the series I watched. I watched You season four on Netflix. Um, if you don't watch You, I mean, I don't know, you must have heard of it by now. I feel like it's got such, uh, like such a following right now. It works up a real buzz. I really enjoyed it. My friend was in it as well in this season. So that was really great to be able to spot him and yeah he had a good role and anyway i enjoyed season four of you you is a show that just very much just has me now like every single season i will watch it um they did an interesting twist with the season of you because like without doing spoilers um the show how i describe it in one sentence is like dexter with social media if anyone ever watched the tv show dexter about the serial killer you is very much about this man who just grows very obsessive with people he thinks he's in love with and kind of like stalks them and 
accidentally kills lots of people um but he thinks he's a good person so the whole show is like his interior monologue of him thinking oh i'm a good person you're making me do this when he's actually like just a terrible human being um but there is somehow some charm to it because we're all here watching it so um, <laughs> clearly there's something we like about joe so anyway so i watched season four and i'm enjoying it they split it into two so i'm waiting to watch the second half um the movie i watched on netflix was called run i really enjoyed that it's about um this girl and her mother and this girl is quite ill and so she's been sort of pretty much she's been homeschooled very sheltered and it's about her learning it's about her learning some secrets about her upbringing and just it's you know just as a heads up i'm trying not to do spoilers as a heads up it's a horror thriller vibe i really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it. I was like, raw. It was very thrilling. Um, the book that I read, I'm still working through Try Softer. Um, that's the workbook and it's all about mental health. It's like a really a journal and prompt exercise book, but it does have chapters within it as well. And I'm enjoying that very much. So I'm still working my way through that. And I kind of only include things in this art section that I finished in the month. So there are books and shows and things like that that I'm halfway through. I'm not going to mention but like I was reading more I, that's that's all I want to put out I have been consuming more I just haven't a hundred percent finished all of these ones yet so anyway try softer is going well um and then I also watched blue jean at the cinema um and it's a film set in I think it was set in the 70s in Tyneside it was a really interesting film I this is going to sound really nerdy but I really enjoyed the color grading and I was learning things about the color grading as I was watching um but yeah it's a film that takes place in Tyneside I think in the 70s and it's about a um a gay woman who's a PE teacher in a secondary school and it's kind of about how like there's loads of protests at the time about LGBT and it's about how like her personal and her work life start colliding because not that there's protests at the school but there is um there's definitely like rumors that go around the school I'm trying not to do spoilers there's a student who is potentially figuring out her own sexuality and that kind of thing but there's a lot of pressure or at least the protagonist feels a lot of pressure to not um, disclose her own sexuality at the school tries very much to segregate um, like her work life from her personal life but then it causes pressure within her work life and within her personal life as these two worlds are like definitely colliding um, and I guess she guess she has this question of like how much do I speak up um, because I don't know that I can. Um, I really enjoyed the film, yeah, it was really good, so I recommend that film as well. I don't know if it's still in cinemas. But... And that was the art that I finished consuming in the month of February. If you've watched the entire video, thank you so much. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video and leave me a little comment below. Um, tell me what you feel God is leading you towards in the month of March. I would love to hear that. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.